Number eight, little Christian enters the narrow gate. The sun was just setting when little Christian reached the narrow gate. He'd walked very quickly. He did not wish to be in the fields after the darkness came on, and he was now so tired that he felt very glad indeed to see the gate quiet close by him. It stood in a beautiful stone archway, and over it hung a lamp, which burned so brightly that its lights could be seen even when the sun was shining. Round the top of the arch, some words were carved upon the stone. A little Christian stopped to read them. The words were these, Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. That was just what Evangelist said, thought Christian, and he began to knock upon the door. His ears twitched as he listened, but he could not hear anyone coming. So he knocked again. And in a few minutes, the door was opened by an owl who looked something like Evangelist Owl. He wore the same kind of long robe and his feathered face was serious and quiet. He smiled when he saw Christian and said, who is this little child? I'm little Christian, replied the little rabbit. May I come in? Are you come from the city of destruction? Asked the gatekeeper whose name was Goodwill. Yes, and I wish to go to the king. Then Goodwill opened the gate quite wide. As Christian was stepping in, Goodwill covered the young rabbit with his wing. Why did you do that? asked Christian. And Goodwill answered, The wicked prince has a castle very near to this gate. When he sees anyone leaving his country and entering the way of the king, he commands his soldiers to shoot arrows at him. Little Christian looked out and saw arrows lying on the ground, and he felt very glad to see Goodwill closing the door. Now I'm safe, he said. Goodwill led him to his own house, which was just beyond the gate, and made him sit down to rest while he made some food for him. Who told you you laid the gate? he asked. Evangelist, replied little Christian, and he said you would tell me where to go next. Yes, I'll tell you, but how is it you came alone? Have you no parent, father, or mother? My mother's with the king, and my father had so much to do he cannot spare time for a long journey, so I was obliged to come by myself. If your mother's with the king, she must have passed through this gate. No doubt you will hear of you as you go on your way. Do you think I will? said a little Christian eagerly, for the greatest wish he had was to know something more of his mother whom he'd lost so long ago. Help said the king would tell her I was coming, and she would watch out for me. Is that true? Quite true. You will not see her until you reach the celestial city, but she will often be able to see you. Have you come straight from home? Did not the boys try to persuade you to stay with them? Obstinate and Pliable came after me, and Obstinate was angry. But Pliable said he would like to go to the Celestial City. Then we fell into a slough, and he was frightened, so he went back again. I thought I should never get out, but help came, and he was good to me. And what then? Little Christian blushed. I was as bad as Pliable, he said. For when I met Worldly, I listened to him and turned away towards his village. The road was so dreadful, and I was afraid the rocks would crush me. But Evangelist found me and brought me into the fields again. And now you've entered the king's gate, and you are one of his little pilgrims. Tonight you must sleep here, and tomorrow I will show you the way to the celestial city.